All right, guys, so for this video, I want to do Chris Stapleton's next single. They've announced it. It's called Either Way. His album is up for pre-order, and you can listen to the snippets of the album, but there's no way to hear the official studio version in full of this new song either way. But this is Chris Stapleton we're talking about. He's like the Adele of country music. He outsells everybody. He's quality. He's someone that everyone can get behind, whether it's the indie country people or it's the mainstream country people. Everyone likes Chris Stapleton, uh, and that's a glorious, glorious thing. He's like the top of the top shelf in country music. So... I'm going to listen to the live video that he played at CRS, which is the country radio seminar, I think. Uh, he played that last year. He debuted this song. So I'm going to listen to the live version, and I know as soon as I post this, the studio version is going to come out. But uh, I'm, I'm too excited to hear it. I've waited like all freaking week for the studio version, and it's not going to appear. So I'm going to try it this way. Okay, here we go. On a way to the room, we go to work, we go to church, we fade the purple light. His voice is so crazy good, high and growly. And all my tears cry. Man, you don't even want to hear him sing a happy song ever. You want to hear him, that pain. His voice is so incredible. I'm amazed this is going to be a single. I'm excited that something slow and intense is going to radio. So he's just ready to give up. That's what this song sounds like. He's saying, I won't love you, or I'm gonna love you either way. I gotta listen closer. Man, I'm so amazed. That first time I heard that high note, blew my socks off. I won't love you either way. You can go or you can stay, I won't love you. He's just in a relationship he doesn't want to be in. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I mean, I'm amazed at that song. That was uh, intense and incredible. And Chris Stapleton is just, I'm so pumped that he has connected with people the way that he's connected. Ever since he appeared on the CMAs and sang with Justin Timberlake, he sang Tennessee Whiskey and he sang Drink You Away and he blew up. And it doesn't even matter if he doesn't really get played on the radio. He is so by far the biggest star in country music at the moment. Because um, people want something real. And Chris Stapleton gives them something real. And I can't believe I spend time sometime, sometimes looking for substance in these uh, shreds of humanity that you get on like a Florida Georgia Line Chainsmokers uh, reaction. And I, I don't want to bash anyone else in this. I always kind of want to bash someone else. But I, I'm not going to right now. I loved that song. I mean, that the thing that I really like about Chris Stapleton's writing is he's not always trying to do so much. A song isn't very long. You can say really one thing. And a, a many, many times his songs are simply like, here's a way that I feel right now. Here's one emotion. And this is, I'm stuck in a relationship and I won't love you either way. So you can go or you can stay. His voice is unbelievable. And the power behind it. Man, I could, I'm could. i so excited that that song is going to radio. I can't wait to hear the studio version. Um, I hope they don't strip the grit out of it. And I'm, I'm just really excited. He's releasing two albums this year. One is called Room Volume 1. One's called Room Volume 2. I wonder why he's doing that. I hope that they're both awesome. But he's such, at this point, a big star that you kind of want like one big event. Um, you think of the way Adele waits years between albums, then puts out 25 and it is just like, she's planted her flag in the ground. Is like, here are my 10 best songs that I've made in the last five years. 
part of me wishes that was kind of the case, that they could somehow find one big album and do the big rollout, but I don't know, maybe that's... Chris Stapleton can do whatever he wants because he's making country music quite awesome and reminding people of how bluesy and powerful and honest and uh, real it can get. I'm just giddy. That first thing, we just can't go on. When he hit that, like, it was unreal how good that was. Okay, I'm editing this video now. Two things I didn't mention because uh, I was so excited by the voice. I know this is, uh, Leon Womack cut this song like nine years ago, but it's Chris Stapleton's song, so it's not a cover and it wasn't like a big seminal hit in Leon Womack's career. I want to check out her version again now and compare them. Actually, why not just check out some of Leon Womack's song right now? I, I won't make it like the whole video, but if I'm here, let's do it. <laughs> it's an old video from when Walmart used to do Walmart sound check videos. Wow, this is such a more private pain than his version. I want them to do wet on this. Man, what if they do wet on this? Can I just like float that in the universe now? Wow, so that's a whole different kind of emotional intensity, and I, I like the sort of quiet tact of Leanne Womack's way of delivering the verses, and then just the clarity of her voice. And it's a really cool juxtaposition to the growl and the, the frustration that you hear in Chris Stapleton's voice. A good song's a good song, no matter who sings it, I guess. All right, let me know what you guys think of this song uh, in the comments. Give me more recommendations of stuff to listen to. I, I don't just want to do mainstream things. I started with that just to kind of test the waters, but if there's a really good, like, high-quality artist you want me to check out and people respond to it and, and, and kind of echo in, then I'll totally do it. So, uh, until next time. Bye, guys. Also, I can't make a video about Chris Stapleton and not say, nice beard, bro. 